Hi, and thanks for joining me. For those of you who don't know, my name is Peter Lamont. I'm a New Jersey attorney, and today I want to share something with you that I recently shared with a group of students who are going to be pursuing a career in law. I was asked to speak to graduating uh, seniors at a local university about what law school is like and what the path to becoming a lawyer um, is like and what opportunities are out there for them. And one question that I received more than any from the students, and it's a good question, is what is one of the number one lessons that you have learned from being a lawyer? They asked me if I could give them one of the top tenants that would help them in their legal career. One of the top things that they could learn from me now so that they don't have to learn it on their own later. The number one thing that I think that I have learned is to talk less and listen more. Learning as you evolve as an attorney to speak less and to take in more, to observe more, is so beneficial. When I was talking to the students, they asked me for specifics because they said to me, ah, oh, we've heard that, talk less, do more, take action. Yeah, 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 yeah. W what's the real value of that? Why are, you, why are you saying that? Give me some examples. So I want to give you some examples in the legal practice. A lot of young lawyers make mistakes when they first get out of law school because they'll be interviewing a witness or they'll be taking a deposition. And taking a deposition is a prime example. So a deposition is... Uh, basically a question and answer session where a witness, whether you're a party to the lawsuit or somebody who just was a non-party that witnessed something, is brought into a lawyer's office and lawyers from all sides are there as well as a court reporter. And what you say in that deposition, the testimony that you give, is under oath and has the same effect as if you were testifying at a trial. So it's very serious and a lot of young lawyers think that the more they ask, the more they say, the more they speak, the better that deposition is. And I'll never forget, there was a young lawyer, we were defending a case, and a young lawyer kept asking the same question of the witness. Now, the lawyer had asked a good question, and the witness gave an answer that supported the lawyer's case. Now, he should have spoken less and observed more. He could have taken that testimony and moved on to another topic. But instead, he wanted to hammer that point home. So he kept asking it in different ways. And eventually, after the fourth or fifth question, the witness said, no, 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 I, I, I didn't understand. I take back everything I've said. What I meant was, and it was completely adverse to that lawyer's case. And ultimately, that piece of testimony ended up hurting that lawyer and him losing the case. So that's one example in the practice of law where talking too much, saying too much, is not beneficial. You are much better off to ask a question and then listen to the answer. Listen, process, figure out what that information means to you in your case, how valuable it is, and then what you can do with that. Don't just keep asking questions. Now, how does that translate to the practice of life? Well, same is true. Talk less, observe more. When you're in a social situation, don't be the clown of the party. Talk less, observe more, read your audience. See if the kind of, of humor that you were going to engage in is appropriate for your setting. Are you going to turn people off or are you going to attract people? If you're at a business meeting, speak less, observe more. What's the tone of the CEO? Does he want somebody that's going to come up with all kinds of creative ideas and blurt them all out at once? Or does he want someone that's going to be more mindful and thoughtful of how they deliver one or two really good ideas? You've got to read the room for that. If you are 
coming into a new job. Talk less. Don't try to fit in so much. Observe more. And when you see the demeanor of the people that you're working with and the tone of the office, you'll have a better understanding of how to fit in. And it's not just listening or observing more. Talking less about what you're going to accomplish and actually doing is another facet, another component of talking less. This time it's talking less and take action more. You can talk a great game and you can get people to believe that you are the number one at whatever it is you're doing. But at the end of the day, the proof is in the pudding. Your actions speak louder than words. It's not what you say, but what you do. You can tell somebody you're an honest, hardworking person, but you don't act honest or hardworking. You could tell somebody that you're dedicated and devoted to a particular task, but your actions can say something else. You can tell an employer that you're experienced at a particular area, whether it's law or business management or accounting, but the actions speak louder than those words. You can tell somebody you're going to go to the gym twice a day and build ridiculous muscle, but your actions speak louder than your words because six months from now, a year from now, all those people that you've told how hard you're going to work, how early you're getting up, they're going to look at your results and they're going to realize that everything you said was just a lie. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to others. Speak less. Observe more. Speak less. Take action more frequently. Whether you're going to be a lawyer, a doctor, a dock builder, a baker, speak less. Listen to your clients. Listen to your customers. Don't tell them what you want them to know. Listen to what they want and what they have to say. You will build lifelong customers, clients, and relationships with people that want to refer other people to you. We all know those people that talk and talk and talk and talk. And at some point, you realize that they're just saying things, but meaning none of it. And worse, doing none of it. So don't be a talker. Be a listener. Observe. Don't be a talker. Take more action. And that's what I said to these students who are going in to pursue a career in law. Don't be a know-it-all. Don't say so much. Listen. Because what you hear will benefit you more than what you want to say. Well, I hope that this helps whether you're going into law school or whether you have owned a business for 30 years or whether you're thinking of starting a business. This is one of the most powerful and important lessons that I think um, a student, an entrepreneur, even, even an old guy like me can learn. Talk less, listen more. Talk less, observe more. Talk less, do more. That's going to do it. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. I've been trying to find my way. Take me by the head and let's go find our own space.